I watched my favorite horror movie of all time and it's called Abigail. Now Abigail isn't your typical horror movie. I mean I went in expecting the psychological thriller super scary horror movie but I was pleasantly surprised because this is a different take on the Dracula's daughter story. So yeah it's part of the Universal Monster Universe, but also a standalone film in a way. Now, yeah, like I said, I went in thinking this would be one of those super scary horror movies, you know, the old timey horror movies. And yes, it does keep the class and the effects of the old timey horror movies, but it takes it to a more campy kind of stance like the 80s, but also it modernizes it to be like the horror movies we've seen the last couple of years, like from The Conjuring or Annabelle or even Megan last year. I didn't read up on this movie before I went to watch it. I only looked at the runtime because I wanted to go in blindly. I'm not a huge horror movie fan and that's why I was a little uncertain about watching this movie, but I went in and I was really surprised. I had so much fun with this movie and I have to say the audience made it a little more fun because there are quite a few jump scares not big ones but there are jump scares and the acting in this movie is actually what makes it phenomenal. Melissa Barrera is my scream queen she really did an amazing job with her role in this movie and let me not get started on Alicia Weir this little girl wow she is so amazing she can quickly go from this adorable 12 year old ballerina to being Dracula's daughter and you know just totally killing people and being this gruesome gory figure you know that comes out and just slays people and if you're a little squeamish for blood then this movie definitely isn't for you because there is a lot of blood in cats and I really mean a lot of blood and cuts especially in the third act the filmmakers even said this is the most blood they've ever used in a movie oh back to the acting Catherine Newton, Dan Stevens, Kevin Duran, Angus Cloud all do an amazing job Angus Cloud really was super funny in this movie and yeah it's unfortunate that he is gone and he will not see the finished product but I enjoyed his performance I enjoyed every single performance in this movie Giancarlo Esposito only has a small role, it's more like a glorified cameo and the story itself, while not too extravagant and it's easy to follow, it doesn't really scream great movie but because of the set pieces, because of the acting, it really just elevates this movie. And like I said, I'm not much of a horror fan but this is my type of horror movie. It's campy, it's fun, it reminds me of the 80s, it reminds me of early horror movies and it also has a touch of modern horrors to it. So if you are a fan of horrors then you should definitely make a plan to go check this movie out. If you like campy movies then this is also for you. But like I also said, if you don't like blood then definitely don't go check this out because you will get sick. Yeah, so I can't stop recommending Abigail. It's an amazing movie. It might actually be one of the best horror movies of 2024. Not that I've watched a lot of horror movies this year. But yeah, like I said, this is one of my favorite horror movies ever. And I actually can't wait to rewatch it. And that's not something I usually say about horror movies. But yeah, I'm excited for you guys to go watch Abigail. Let me know what you think and if you enjoyed it.